What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the iWoli cordless vacuum cleaner that has a rechargeable battery. In this review, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this vacuum, including one thing I think that you should know before buying. All right guys, so we got this vacuum cleaner mainly because our big vacuum cleaner is big, bulky, heavy. Uh, my wife's not too much of a fan of that. And we wanted to get something a little bit lighter, kind of for those in-between cleanings, not like a deep clean, but in-between. And this particular vacuum is actually really, really good for that. So a few uh, cool things about it. So you can see here, every one of these little red things is just an area to have an attachment, right? Which is kind of nice. It has something so you can actually clean the floors. And I'll show you this in a second, actually working so you can tell the suction power because it is uh, surprisingly really good with that. Um, and then they have the attachments here, here, and then also this is to uh, to hang it. If you want to hang it on the wall, you basically drill on like this and it'll hang it right here. We just haven't installed that yet. So, um, but yeah, it overall works pretty well. I like the fact that it's a handheld, you know, if you just add, like we use this on the couch all the time. Uh, so it's a handheld for that, but it actually does a pretty decent job vacuuming up the carpet as well. Um, and it works like a, a lot of other vacuums. It's a little dirty right now, but a lot of other vacuums where it basically has this little canister and you know you can fill it up to a certain point and then you uh, do have to empty it out. So it is bagless, which I like that as well. Now, in terms of the battery, it's actually right here where all the power is. So you have the power here and then the speed right there. And all you gotta do, you could take this out at any time, right? If you wanna actually see the battery, that sort of thing. But all you really have to do to charge this, you know, you need to do what I just did. All you need to do is plug it right into here uh, they have a uh, cord, you plug it right in and it'll charge. It takes about four hours to fully charge this thing from zero. Uh, we've been using a little bit, so a little bit low right now. Uh, we're on the last third of the battery, but uh, let me show you it in action to actually show you the suction power, which I think is a, a big selling point for this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna use it like this, just on this, this carpet right here. Vacuum this probably a couple weeks ago, but I have one animal that just loves to hang out in here. So there's always, always pet hair in here. Um, I will say, I don't know that this is necessarily for someone that doesn't have a vacuum at all. Uh, but if you have like hardwood floors, things like that, it'll pick up things. And it actually does a pretty decent job picking up fur too. I do use it occasionally in here. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna wanna turn it on the full mode. It's got that nice little light too. And we'll just clean the carpet a little bit here. And now I can just kind of embarrass myself and you can see how dirty these carpets are. So let's stop right there. And just that little bit that I did already, there we go, already got that much hair, which is pretty disgusting because frankly, I didn't do that big of a spot, but it actually does a really good job in picking stuff up. Um, and I, I like, again, I like the fact that all these little red clips can make it shorter or longer. So it's really good if you take that long, or that last one off there, and you have something that's kind of high up, like ceiling fans, thing like that. Um, you could just put the attachment right there and you can actually clean them with that, which has been a really handy thing. Uh, my wife's kind of short too, so it's helpful for her in that regard. So as much as I like this, there is one thing I think is worth noting. So one of the issues is if you have this, if you have this on what they call eco mode, which is the lowest suction power, right? It can last about 35 minutes, this version uh, about 25 minutes and here about 20 minutes. I think that's one thing that I would change about this if I could. Uh, I don't have the power to do so or the engineering know how to do so. But the battery life, it lasts, like I said, for 20 minutes. If you're if you're using it like, you know, here and there, I think it'll probably be fine. But if you're looking for like more hardcore cleanups or you're planning on using it all the time, just be aware that it will require some recharging relatively frequently. Like I said, it takes about four hours to recharge. Um, it definitely does a really good job though of sucking things up and uh, keeping areas clean. I think it's a really good spot cleaner. And like I said, it's really good for um, high areas, you know, trim, uh, fans, things like that. We really like it for that as well. So yeah, if you're considering it, we definitely do recommend it and hope you enjoy.